Hi, Dave Goodman here. Nice to be back again uh, with the workshops uh, together with Yamaha Guitars. Um, in this workshop, we're going to take a look at uh, some slide guitar and uh, in open G, which is one of my favorite tunings, um, especially for, for playing Delta blues and, and, um, and acoustic fingerstyle blues. Uh, the tuning, uh, what's really interesting about this tuning is that the, the tonic or the, 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 the lowest note of the, of the guitar is not the tonic, it's the fifth. So in an open G we have on the very lowest string we've got a D. Uh, and that makes for really interesting voicings and bass lines. So we've got D, we've got G, D again, G again, B, and D. Um, I play a lot of uh, slide guitar with, with all of the APX uh, series from Yamaha. And this is a guitar that, that's originally built for, the idea is for, for electric guitar players who don't want a, a big body and they just want to play a couple of songs on stage. And the body's thinner this way, it's, it's in fact very thin. And this is what gives it such a special sound for slide guitar that I really love is that there's <clears throat> a lot less uh, uh, bass and a, a very strong mid-range to the guitar and that's exactly what you want for playing slide for getting a great sound. I wear the slide on my small finger. Um, you, can, you can play it on the third finger, some people even put it on the first, it depends what you're doing but for me, especially playing solo, uh, having it on the, on the fourth finger uh, leaves these three fingers free for doing chords and it's just a lot more, there, there are many more possibilities. What's really important uh, with slide guitar is damping. So, for example, when I play a chord, a G here at the 12th fret, um, it's important that with the first finger, and I use the second finger as well, that behind the slide, you touch the strings very lightly so that they're dampened. If I don't dampen it, it sounds like this. Scratchy, and when I dampen it, it sounds clean like this. And that goes the same for when I'm playing single notes, which I'll play up on the, the, the tip of the slide here. You can see here I dampen with these fingers. When I play a chord, of course, it's important to get directly over the fret and stay at 90 degrees. So you don't play in between the frets like you normally would. You play directly over the fret and you gotta stay 90 degrees. If you don't, your chord will sound like this and we don't want that. We want, we want this. So those are some of the tricks. I'm gonna just improvise a piece um, something like a, a typical nine bar blues, <clears throat> which is often found in Piedmont blues or Delta blues. Uh, there are many, many old classic songs. I'll just play, um, I'll play through it and I'll improvise a bunch of licks. Um, and then I'll try to remember what they were and show them to you after a little bit more slowly. <laughs>
anpacken. Okay, so let's take a little look at uh, some of the things that I did there. As I mentioned before, it was uh, very largely improvised, uh, but I can recall most of what I did. But in the beginning, the most important thing to start with is the form of the song. So this is kind of a special blues. It's a, a nine bar blues. And um, we should just play through the form. So of course, G is open here with our root with G there. Uh, and then we've got the C here for now. And remember damping here with this finger and also this finger. And here's a D here. There are of course many other places you can play it, but for now let's just do it like that. So one, two, three, four. and then a turn around. Okay, so I'm doing some little licks like this, for example, um, just playing a high G here. I turn the slide a little bit this way, and um, with my thumb, I'm, the groove that I'm doing with my thumb here, I'm just dampening a little bit right here on the two lowest strings, or the three lowest strings, depending like this, and I just play quarter notes. So I could go like one, two, three, four, and here I could play a small melody. And then to the four chord, to the C. And then the turn around. And then, of course, I can play the V chord with my low string here. Up here, I did a few licks like this. And you can see here I'm damping with these fingers. Really great voicing here. One, two, three, four. Always coming back to the C. And then sometimes I did a little pickup here. And that's all a passing thing over G. A lot of what I'm doing as well is the, the blues scale. So I'm basically always staying in time and playing through this nine bar pattern and just largely improvising a mixture of these chords. You can also, of course, play them in a bar. So I'll just play a rhythm through the pattern one time, and you play along with your slide and just follow the fret. So you can play on the 12th fret here when I'm on G here. Of course, when I go to C, play here and... And when I play the D, you can noodle around there. 
and then don't forget the turn around. You can play or also an octave down. Okay, one, two, three, four. So over that last rhythm that I played, um, try playing the chords with your slide and try playing some single notes and just experiment and fit with the, with the structure of the piece, with the, with the form. And um, yeah, have fun with open G and slide. See you for the next workshop.